Hi, I'm Melva Davis, a 2018 DVL Lifetime Achievement Honoree. Wow. Being or serving. I have to say serving because I feel that my task in life is one of missionary as well as serving, serving others within my community, giving back to my community <clears throat> and myself. And in so doing, I grow as a person. Being a leader, gosh, that's a big task, is making sure that I have educated myself enough to where I feel comfortable in taking a lead role, but at the same time learning, always, because learning is a lifetime goal. And so as a leader, I must be willing to share and to learn in order to guide. A dreamer, a dreamer is someone who always and never ever gives up, believes in themselves first, of course, believing in God, the God within us. That helps us to grow and to guide and to empower others as well as ourselves in doing so. A visionary is being able to see beyond what's happening today and to know that you can be an impact on constructive views and uh, Gosh, life itself. Since ASL is a foreign language and there are 17% of our nation who are either deaf or hard of hearing, up to 22% depending on where you are in the country. And so that's a lot of people who are needing ASL. And for us, we're talking over 36 million people, then we need to make sure that we are addressing those needs because that's a silent group of people who are very vocal, but with their hands. And so they're overlooked, they're oppressed a great deal. And that shouldn't be the case. And they're oppressed by mainstream, which are hearing. And, and so it's unfortunate. So I, I wanted to bring that to the children. Since this is an Academy of Excellence, it just made sense to bring something more to it than, okay, well, we're going to have after school programs. What are those? Foreign language is required if you're going to college, and we live in a global society. So with that in mind, children need to be globally minded. And it may not be that they have to learn French or Spanish or Chinese or Japanese. Maybe they need to learn to sign. Wow. To be recognized as a lifetime achiever, that is so mind-blowing and boggling. I'm humbled, and I believe that I'm more humbled than I am honored in order to receive a lifetime achievement and yet I feel that I have much life more life to give to offer uh, to accept to receive and I don't want that to end uh, each day I wake up with a prayer the night before and one before I hit the floor hoping that today I can make a much more positive impact than I did even a moment ago um, encouraging others, encouraging myself, and actually changing the world that we may see today so that it's better for tomorrow.